Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bullshit. Dare Sanders might be the future quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. I'm just saying, he might be the future quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. It's official. It is official. I just want to clap for him. That was a great game against TCU, winning 45-42, to throwing dimes all game, absolutely balling all game, making the accurate passes, beautiful deep ball. And every time they got down, the Colorado Buffaloes will always come back. Because Shadair Sanders would not allow them to lose this game. And that's the type of quarterback I want on this team. A dual threat that's not necessarily looking to scramble all the time. A dual threat that's, that can make the passes in the pocket and outside the pocket. And buy, the, buy himself some more time to make that pass to his wide receivers. It was very impressive what I've seen. Four wide receivers had over 100 receiving yards. I'm going to start with Dylan Edwards. That one screen pass on the right side of the field, that was a 75-yard screen pass. He found him on the right side of the field. He was balling all game. Five catches for 135 yards, 27.0 average. Three touchdowns for Dylan Edwards. He is fast. He is definitely fast. Travis Hunter. That deep throw that Shadir Sanders threw, it was a 40-yard bomb. He just threw it up, caught the ball. I said, yes, that's what I want. Throwing dimes all game long. I'm hyped because this is a – we, we, we are hungry for a franchise quarterback. We are starving for a franchise quarterback. We are desperate for a franchise quarterback. If it's not first cousin, if he doesn't do it this year, we better draft Shadir Sanders. Or we better draft Bo Nix. Or we better draft Caleb. Or we better draft Drake May. Who I really want is between Bo Nix, I got to see what he does, or Shadir Sanders. Right now, Shadir Sanders has the slight lead because or what he just did against TCU. It was very impressive. Very impressive. Even when he's getting hit by a defender, he's making that dime pass to his wide receivers. It's like the pressure did not get in his head. He didn't care about what was going on on the field when they was, get, when they was in his face and all that. He would make the correct play time and time again. The defense wasn't really coming through. They, they did have a couple of interceptions, but the player of the game is Shadir Sanders. Also, um, another wide receiver that had a, a really good game is Xavier Weaver. Six catches for 118 yards, 19.7 per, per catch, right? And then, who else? Jimmy Horn Jr. I like his attitude, man. He, he just got that swag on. He be... He's not the biggest wide receiver, but he just, he just seems to make that play every time the ball comes to him. 11 catches for 117 yards, 10.6 per average, one touchdown. This game was absolutely, like, very interesting to watch. It was very entertaining from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. I didn't know who was going to win. It seemed like TCU could on getting the touchdown to put him in front, but, Sh but Shadair Sanders could not let them lose. He said... Team, just get on my back. I'm, I'm going to get us to the finish line. I'm going to get us that dub. And that's what he did. Very impressive game. Very impressive game. Very impressive. Like, that's what I like about him. He's not looking to scramble to get yards. He is literally looking to get wide receivers downfield. I like him a lot. He's slight edge over Bo Nix. But we got to see what Bo Nix does. TCU, on the other hand, and let me just say this, right? When he was dominating, when he was with Jackson State, putting up those numbers, I said, let me see what he does against tougher competition. And this is what I'm talking about. He needs to be a Minnesota Viking if we don't draft Bo Nix. I like what I've seen. I like what I've seen. Leave in the comments below, what do you think about Shadir Sanders? The son of the greatest cornerback of all time, Deion Sanders. Prime time. You know the vibes. You know how we come in. Hold on. Hold on. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Thank you for vibing with the 
Pull. Another thing, I wanted to talk about TCU, right? And there's another Sanders on this team, but he's not related. I had to look it up for myself. I said, there's another Sanders? He's, his name is Trey Sanders? He's no relation of Deion Sanders or Shadir Sanders. I just had to look it up for myself. I'm like, oh, there's another Sanders. The man is a running back, <laughs> and he had three touchdowns alone, 15 carries for 46 yards. I was like, what in the world's going on? They ran all over the Colorado Buffalo. They need to try to stop that because that is definitely their weakness. Uh, Amani Bailey had 14 carries for 164 rushing yards, 11.7 per carry. What? They couldn't stop him at all. They could not stop the running game. So they got to, if they want to get far this year, they got to figure that out. Definitely got to figure that out. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about Shadir Sanders. I know it's only one game, but it is official, y'all. He got game. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.